I'm gonna pose this question. It's a hot topic. Um amongst I know civilians and musicians. Uh, <laughs> but um when when musicians are playing for church settings and this is total opposite of, you know, the whole traveling thing. But when musicians are playing for church settings, are y'all concerned about actually gleaning from the word or are you solely concerned about the money? Why you look at me? <laughs> <laughs> Lou looking at me like, you go to church? Yes. <laughs> yes I, I, I mean, I, that's yes, a genuine question. church. Like, are you guys like, okay, I want to play for this establishment and this ministry, but I need to be fed at the same time. I, I very rare, rarely hear a musician be like, I can't I can't mess with that church because I don't care how much they want, they're going to pay me. Uh, I can't receive from that church. I don't ever hear musicians say mm-hmm. that. It's more so like, oh, doc, uh, I got a good bag over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what I hear. Are musicians totally concerned about the pay or are or is your soul <laughs> a priority as well well here's my thing why do you keep looking at me like that <laughs> <laughs> is your soul lost brother <laughs> do you know jesus <laughs> uh so 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 far as for me um for so you in your house <laughs> uh far as for me uh, I've never really been too caught up into uh, trying to make a gazillion dollars at a church because I I think I really think more on the logical end. Uh, far as going to you know, if you go to a medium sized church, you gotta you still gotta be mindful of of yeah. the numbers of people that's you know that's at the church, you know. You got you got to kind of go with what the makes musician sense. has to be mindful for sure. Yeah, musician. Because I'm glad you said that. Said that last week. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's like to me it's like a logical thing, you know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. <laughs> yeah, um. To... So for me, well, first of all, I'm gonna say this. Hey, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all for listening, man. Uh, talk to us, holler at us, man. Y'all can definitely. Uh, chime in on some of these questions if you want to. Y'all can ask us questions as well. All that stuff uh, uh, is live and it is interactive, man. And we just want to, you know, chop it up with y'all too. So uh, if y'all want to, if y'all want to comment and all that good stuff, yeah. please make sure y'all do that, man. Um, so as far as as far as me and church go, clean. Uh, I mean, it's, it's gonna be what it is either way. As far as as far as me and church is concerned, me personally, I'm. I'm more so burnt out on on church. Yeah, I'm burnt out on church. Uh, I'm burnt out on uh, religion as a whole. Uh, of course, there are some things. Um, there are some things in religion that uh, are my foundation still. Um, and I did, you know, I was able to take some good things away uh, from religion. But for the most part, I'm I'm burnt out on it. So for me personally, that's really not what I go for. So you um, saying you go for the money? It's it's, it's church. Church is more so a job for me, and and mm-hmm. I mean, um, because I mean, I mean, it's like this. Um, uh, so you know, for the longest, uh, my my godparents, my godparents, they uh, you know, they were my uh, you know, past and first lady, and I do I do kind of still consider that you know yeah. david harris home, what up what up you know home church and stuff like that but at the end of the day man um i just i just got to a point where i noticed man like just those those talks that me and my god dad would have for hours um or uh, us sitting at the dinner table you know us in the uh us sitting at the dinner table and my god mom pulling me to the side uh you know talking to me and stuff like that um those those situations i mean the fact that you know like you know we you know again outside of church man Mm -hmm. like cried together uh went through stuff together uh how they how they um man i can i can even go as far as to say man they really um they really instilled a lot in me outside of church they they saved my life i was about to say they saved your life a you lot of times, like <laughs> outside outside of church. Mm-hmm. Um, but quick story, 
quick story. So last week uh, we t- we uh, we talked about. Um, Not to interrupt you, but up? we see. Uh, I see your comments, uh, Bo and Marcus, and I'm going to read them to Jay and Lou so they can address your comments. Okay. But go ahead. So uh so quick uh so just quick story last week uh when I was talking about my gigs I was talking about you know how I met Bernard right and uh you know uh, 4th of July uh 4th of July that was the day uh that was the day mm-hmm. uh, that my daddy died I never really got a chance to see him mm-hmm. and uh I never really heard nothing but bad things about him um I, I was just depending on my mama to tell me the truth. Yeah, it, it, it just went over your head. You missed all of that. Anyway, you just gonna you just gonna you just <laughs> I was gonna trying to see if song. he was gonna catch it, but no. <laughs> so so real quick story, uh, real quick story. So uh, Fourth of July, it was a very hard day for me. This particular Fourth of July, I, and I forget the year that it was. Um, Paul was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> no, no. He was, but that's another story. Wasn't it two thousand and six? I'm not sure. No, well, no. It, uh, I'm talking about the year that this particular situation happened. So my god dad, who's my pastor, um, so th- this was like a real dark day, mm-hmm. this particular day. I'm talking about I'm locked in my house, all the lights off, I'm drink I'm drinking, I'm drunk, I'm crying, like like all that stuff. I'm really like going through it, halfway homicidal. Like I'm like really going through it that day, man. And it's so it just so happened that my you know, he texts me and he, you know, hey Biggie, you know, I know what today is, just wanna let you know. You know, I'm here. You know, I'm here if you need me. And I'm I'm being like, you know, you know, hey, Pop, you know, I appreciate that. But, you know, it really ain't nothing you can tell me or talk to me about, right, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if anything, I just need some more liquor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What did he send you? You know what I'm saying? If I can tell the story, bro, My can head. I tell the story? Thank you. So, um, so I'm, you know, I'm like, man, if anything, I just need some more liquor. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, he was like, well, I ain't got no liquor, but I got a nice, I, I got a, dope glass of kool-aid for you yeah right <laughs> so i'm like ha, ha, whatever um so about an hour and so go by there's a knock on my door there's a knock on my door and you know i'm a, i'm on 10 because i'm like who the if is knocking on my door mm-hmm. i ain't expecting nobody you know and i always had this rule like don't don't come to my crib if if you ain't you know gave me no type of notice or yeah. anything like that anyway he sent somebody over there. You know what I'm saying? I opened the door all hostile, and they like, yo, 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 look. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm here. Mm-hmm. They had a they had a glass of Kool-Aid. Yeah. It, it was like, all I know is I'm supposed to give you this glass of Kool-Aid. That, that did everything for me. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like that moment right there, to me, was more special than any moment I ever had in anybody's church. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's stuff like that. It's stuff like that that will do more for me mm-hmm. than sha ta 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 ta. Yeah. You know, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. That does nothing for me. Yeah. But moments like that outside of church, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Those are the moments that I look for from pe- from people who are who are supposed to be like my mm-hmm. uh, spiritual advisors and stuff like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So with that being said. I'm more so when when it comes to my spiritual wellness, my mental wellness, my my mental, you know what I'm saying, uh my spiritual well being, my spiritual health and stuff like that. I'm I I work on that outside of church. Mm-hmm. I work on that like Monday through Friday, not you know, mo- you know, not just on Sunday morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like like just me personally, I don't really get that in church. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of church just for me is more so just is theatrics and it's a show. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that there aren't people in, you know that don't care about their members and I'm not I'm not saying that at mm-hmm. all. I'm just talking about for me, I've just like I've found most most of my spiritual and mental health outside of four mm-hmm. walls on Sunday. With that, so with that being said, when I do go to uh, when I am playing for somebody church. You know, I'm I'm more so there for that, and then you know we can talk about my my mental and spiritual health mm-hmm. after, yeah, or outside of that. Okay, so Bo said in regards to that question, Bo said, I mean, you got where you work and where you worship. They can be the same place, but oftentimes it won't be just because it won't be just because. 
life but uh <laughs> so he basically saying that most times it probably won't be the same place because of life he said what i will say is pastors need to stop looking for employees and expecting a new member to show up on sundays hmm. that's where stuff gets out of hand N not not setting that not really setting i, I mean just kind of like relationship and just not setting that boundary mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying it's like because that's what happens you know you'll hire a musician and then kind of expect them to be that member mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and that's another thing too like i'm at a point now i can't i can't really just see myself going to church just to be there like if i'm not if i'm not Playing. Oh yeah! If I'm not playing, like I don't, I, I, I it feels, stop. It, do it feel awkward, man? I stopped it, seeing myself as anybody's member like uh -huh. years ago. Yeah, like if if I'm not playing, I like I, I'm, you know, I'm good on it, you know. Yeah, I've I've, I've had that same feeling for I appreciate for a long you, time myself, feeling awkward if I'm not there playing, mm -hmm. or if, and then, uh, then sometimes you go in there and somebody somebody see you, then they want you to come play. And be, and I'm like I don't think I want to go up there anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It depends on who it is. It depends on who it is. Sometimes just like so. when just like when you go to a shed or a jam session, you just you kind of just sit there to you know whatever, and they be like, hey, man, yeah, hit you with that. 